This is a map of the autocross course. This is the start finish line. The course itself continues on for a mile. And encompasses many different types of road surface. We have straight dirt as well as a combination of gravel and clay. This event is designed to test uh, car suspension system as well as the uh, driver's ability to handle the car on different surfaces. Accurate timing in an event like this is of great importance. To time the cars on our course, we use an electric eye. As the cars pass the line the first time, they break the eye. As they pass the eye the second time, it's broken again and the time is computed on our club timer and then entered on the score sheet. Cars are divided into different classes so that uh, cars with small engine displacements are competing against cars with large en engine displacements and consequently it's uh, equal for all of the drivers. Next on the starting line is Dave Thompson. Dave is running a Z28 Camaro one of the few American cars in this weekend. Getting his instructions from the, from the starter. And he's clear to go. Dave Thompson has been a regular competitor at Sports Car Olympics for the past five years. He's very quick in his Z28. Here we see him coming down into the hairpin corner. It's come around there very clean. Turn the power on now, 350 cubic inches. And through the timing trap. Craig Forsberg in a Mazda RX-7. Starter signal. And he's away. Mr. Forsberg's main competition this weekend comes from Bob Wilkie, also in another Mazda RX-7. Here we see Craig Forsberg going down the straight into the hairpin. Just before the hairpin, he reaches speeds of about 65 miles an hour. The hairpin will slow him right down to about 10 or 15, and then he accelerates again past the timing trap. Parks Promenade, the first corner, is actually a slight dog leg left, followed by a sharper left. Here we see the racing beat Mazda RX-3. The modified cars are always fast on the course here. Here's a fully modified race prepared 240Z. Here we have another modified car, an R8 Gordini. This car is from Brandon, Manitoba. After a competitor has completed his run, he comes into the return road and returns back to the staging area. We're looking right now at the north straightaway as it comes into Cheeseman's Curve. Slight rise and then the road goes left. Cars continue around in a decreasing radius corner and then accelerate out. Okay, quite ahead of steam up. This is Dino Calvert from the Winnipeg Sports Car Club. Just coming into Cheeseman's Curve, accelerating through, and out. Here we see Mr. Forsberg coming down the North Strait and into Cheeseman's Curve. Power on, accelerating through the corner, This portion of the course is known as Burt's Bend. Off camber, decreasing radius right turn. This is Gordon Bowles from Brandon in an R8 Gordini. 
Just coming into Burt's Bend. Burt's Bend is a tricky corner because of the off-camber portions of it. Kent's Bend. It's a very tricky question here. It's a tight hairpin left. Another competitor coming into Kent's Bend. Cars have to slow right down here. If they get to the outside too far, it has a tendency to cost them a lot of time. Now coming into Kent's Bend is Bob Wilkie in the Mazda RX-7. Bob is a little bit on the outside, but has a very clean run through and down the straightaway through the timing trap. 